going on guys so we're, in this video we're going to be going over how you can set up um, github and roho for your uh, roblox game that you're making so that you can do uh, all your workflow in visual code studio and you can also like uh, keep track of your work through github um, so yeah let's get started with that so uh, first things first you're going to want to go to get download in Google and then so you can download Git. So you do want to have Git installed for this. Um, you do want to have a GitHub account. So make you a GitHub account. Uh, and then Visual Code Studio. Just type in Visual Code Studio in Google. You can download that as well. Um, that should be all that you need to download and then you're ready to get started. So let's say that you have a folder. Um, let me see. Let me see if I have a folder up. Uh, yeah, there it is. So, um, open folder. Let's go to desktop. And boom. And I'm going to select this folder. So, let's say that you have a folder up. Um, here's your folder. In Visual Code Studio, first thing you're going to do is go to extensions. You're going to type in Roho. Um, and then you're going to install Roho, the first one that comes up. And then you're also going to type in Selene. Okay, and you're going to install uh, Selene as well. So you're going to have those two things installed. And um, then you're going to uh, press Control Shift P. And you're gonna go down to Roho. These are already in here because I just used them. But you're gonna to go to Roho Initialize, okay? And you're going to really just create, it's gonna create a, a Roho project for you. Um, and you should have source control here as well. So uh, now what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, make sure that you're on, that you have the actual folder activated. Um, and you're going to create a selene.tml file and you're going to put here std equals roblox like that and that's all you're going to put in this file um, and yeah so that's what you're going to do there okay and now what you're going to do is you're going to go over to github and you're going to go to repositories. You're going to create a new repository. And um, so name it whatever. I'm going to have this to set to private. I mean, well, I'll just have it to the public. It doesn't really matter. But we'll just do private. <laughs> but uh, and then so right here, you're going to get this right here. So this is what you want. Now you have get installed. OK, what you're going to do is go into your file manager go to the folder and you're going to have where's the folder Let's search for it all right so this is the folder and let's just go all right whatever here now we have the folder you're going to right click on the folder okay and you're going to say get bash all right now you have get bash up so this is what you're going to do you're going to have these commands in okay you're gonna start you're not gonna start here this is not where you're gonna start you're gonna start here this is where you're, this is where you're gonna start the first commit part okay so you're gonna say um, you know get commit M first commit to Roho tutorial you this can be whatever you want it to be it's just a commit message um, to see, you know, to keep track of things, keep it organized. So you're gonna do that. Oh, so we gotta use git add first. Okay, so we're gonna do git add. All right, and then you gotta do the period. Don't mind that message. And then we're gonna do git. Then we're gonna do the commit now. Now we're gonna do the commit, okay? So commit first, commit to Roho tutorial. Boom, so now it committed, okay? Now we're gonna say git branch main, 
Now we're gonna do git uh, remote add origin https and then we're just gonna type in this link pretty much. The one that it's giving us. Okay, so make sure it is everything is spelled correctly. Alright. Okay, now we're going to do um, a git push. Alright, and then it should push to the branch, okay, and so if we were to reload this, it would push our files, and now you can also see if we go back into source control here, if we go back into like the repo section, if we go to branches, our main branch is right here, but let's go back to GitHub, refresh this, and now we have our... Uh, all of our stuff right here and um, that we have in our, our visual code studio so now our Roblox Roblox project is hooked up to github okay and we can make commits and we can do all this other stuff stuff with github you can close out of this um, and now uh, let's see let's just go here real quick I'm just gonna do a quick push um, so there should be a Roblox file that comes up shortly, but it's not. You also have to go to git ignore, actually. You have to go to git ignore and you have to type in something real quick. So let's actually look that up on Google. Or I'll just bring it up in another project. New window. Okay. Open. What is this? Bring it up in a new project just because I already have it. What is this? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, okay. Here we go. Alright. So, we want to check our git ignore and we want to copy and paste this, okay? So, this is pretty much... I'll leave this on the screen. I'll put this in the description so you can just copy and paste it. But this is what you want to put in your git ignore, okay? Um, so, yeah. You want to put that in your git ignore and then now you want to you know do a commit add git ignore we'll just do that as a commit message and then we'll go um oh my camera turned off that's crazy so uh and now what we'll do is we'll push it again to our main branch and um yeah should be okay right now so now what we can do is control shift p so we're going to go to build so build with project file what this is going to do and then we're going to click on default project.json what this is going to do is this is going to be our roblox file that we can be connected to so let's open that so let's go to our file uh, let's go to Roho tutorial and we see this Roblox uh, build file. So we're going to double click that, open it up. And then so now we have this, this file in here. As you can see, we have our, to, our script um, in here. And then we can go back to visual code. I'm going to close out of this, go back to visual code. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to Roho start server with project file. So now I started a server with this project file. So if you didn't see that, I did control shift P again and I just looked up Roho start and then you want to start it with your project file. Then you go back to here. Let's say that you have the Roho plugin installed. If not, just, you know, go to toolbox, search up Roho uh, for plugins. And then you go down to the plugin and you press connect. And so now we're connected through Roho. So now we can say uh, we can add a script and server. Um, let's close out of this stuff real quick. We can add a script and server. So let's make sure we have server highlighted. Add a script. And we can add to add in a regular script, you 
it's not a dot lua file it's a dot server dot lua that's what you want to create so we can say um uh print roho i don't know we're just going to make something random all right so server dot lua so now we can say um game dot players dot player added So now, what we'll see happen is if we go back into our Roblox, we can see this script called print roho, and it's exactly what we typed out in our um, Visual Code Studio. Print player name, blah blah blah. So yeah. So now if we were to play the game, okay, uh, we can test it and say it says, let's see, Sheeple showed you how to connect to roho. And that's really um, that's really all all that you uh, that you do to uh, connect to Roho. So now you can use Visual Code and see. Now we have also things to commit. So we can say add build slash print. Okay, and then we can commit that. And now we can push to our branch, um, and it's gonna push it. And so yeah. That is um, pretty much how you set up Roho and Visual Code so that you can work through Visual Code and you can also make uh, commits to GitHub and keep track of your work.